sketchy, pygmonic, pixelized, or physio? Which visual learning resource is the best for USML exam? Well, I'm here to tell you my tier list so you can choose your resource wisely. So I'll be judging these resources based on four parameters. The first one being the symbol. The second, the story and the theme. The third is the coverage of high yield material. And the fourth one is the artwork. Okay, let's get started. So first we have Picmonic. Well, uh, this is definitely one of those older resources and, I, and I've and i used it quite a bit. I would say Picmonic does an excellent job when it comes to symbolic representation and the artwork, but it definitely falls short when it comes to, you know, having a story as all the stories sound similar with a heroic sort of a theme. Also, it's not really comprehensive enough as I found myself adding community facts again and again. Picmonic gets a B from me. Next up, Sketchy Micro. Well, you already know what it is. This definitely gets an S from my side, as Sketchy Micro is the king when it comes to consistency and having great story themes. Uh, the themes and artwork make every sketch look distinct, although I would definitely argue that the symbols can be improved, as sometimes they are very vague. It does cover most of the high yield material and uh, only leaves some facts behind. S for Sketchy Micro. So the third one is Physio. Well, if Picmonic and Sketchy had a baby, it would definitely be Physio. <laughs> the best part about Physio is the comprehensive library. It covers everything that you need to know. The symbols are great. However, I find that sometimes there is a lack of consistency throughout the library as uh, the symbols keep on changing. The artwork is also a hit or a miss. Sometimes it's just beautiful. Other times it feels overwhelming with different shapes and weird backgrounds. I do love the genetic disorder section in Physio. I would definitely give that a try. A for Physio. Third one is Sketchy Pharma. So Sketchy Pharma gets a B from my side because I just don't feel like studying Pharma with this method is the best way. I mean, you could remember it, but you would miss out on integrating the physiology and pathology with pharmacology. So, um, and ultimately it would hurt you in the long run. Sketchy Path. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. Who even does Sketchy Path? Well, let me tell you a little secret. So sketchy path is the best way to do tumors. I mean, tumor markers are really volatile and I've always found myself, you know, mixing the types of tumor till I did sketchy path. I remember the lung cancer sketch. My God, the lung cancer sketch. And let me tell you, I have rarely ever missed a question after reviewing that sketch. Uh, the acid base section is also excellent. The symbols, the story and the themes are great. Uh, the artwork is also really memorable and they cover most of the questions. So sketchy path for tumors is A for sure. And also skin cancer sketch is excellent. Uh, the rest of it, it is a D. So overall, I'm gonna give sketchy path a C. Pixarize. Let me tell you how much I love Pixarize. Pixarize for immunology is gold, not even kidding. I mean, the immunodeficiency disorder and the interleukins, they're just so well-made. And also the biochem section, with the vitamins, it's also very well made. If I had to choose a resource with my favorite symbols, I would definitely say Pixarize. Um, and it's not really overwhelming. I like how they suggest making physiology as your best memory hook. It just gives out facts that are strictly memory recall. So uh, that's a great strategy. The artwork in Pixarize is also splendid. The vitamin deficiencies and the biochemistry cycle, like the heme synthesis pathway from Pixarize, it would really help you. So Pixarize overall gets an S from my side. What about the other sketchy areas? Well, like sketchy medicine, sketchy surgery, OBGYN, they get a D from my side, mostly because I did not find them to be really helpful. The artwork is cool for sure, but I would say that USMLE step two test on your deeper understanding of the material. So just memorizing a bunch of stuff will not help you. I tried some videos from each section and did not feel like it was helping me with with the deprocessing of the material, so I ultimately abandoned it. I'm sure some people might disagree, but this is my personal opinion. Well, that's it for now. I hope I haven't missed any major resource, and uh, let me know in the comment section down below which visual learning resource is your favorite.